hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel so this is my six summarize deck let me just focus on it real quickly so yeah this is my six summarize deck and i'm going to be showing you guys my ftk with the deck so i made a deck profile if you guys want to see that later on after watching these test hands then you can go ahead and check it out it's linked in the description of the video so essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how the ftk works i've gotten some new cards to make the ftk work a lot better like this one right here it is primatech pretty much what it does it allows me to add one level four or lower monster or level four monster from my deck to my hand when i overlay with the three level four monsters which allows me to add the amazonas archer really really easy after getting my endless counters so i'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to actually pull that off i'm just going to shuffle up i'm going to do this like three times to give you guys a rough estimate of like a match and how good this um deck or archetype is because i believe that konami does not like the six samurais deck they are not going to update the deck anymore just because of gateway which is a pretty broken card imagine you get to add cards from graveyard or hand as long as you have counters on the field which is is pretty broken so i'm gonna need a good amount of dices because you know we are going to be stacking counters on our card so let's see our five cards so how the deck works it's pretty simple to get the the deck working or to get the um ftk working we're going to need a card to all the counters which is a dojo in this instance so we're going to have dojo and then we need monsters to special summon i can start a combo with a new space and connector and then go into my you know final end board so we're going to go ahead and activate the dojo then we're going to normal summon my connector connector is going to activate its effect we're going to search out from my deck neo spacian dolphin aqua dolphin we're going to special summon it in defense mode then we're going to link off into our noble noble knight which is going to be two tails So then we're going to activate two tails uh, is the first effect when he's summoned on the field we can add one level four or lower um i mean one warrior type monster so we're going to add the connector because we're not going to be using the connectors again for the rest of this turn and then we're going to activate its second effect to add to send to the graveyard um equip spell cards and then we can special summon a warrior type monster to the amount of equip spell cards that we sent so I'm going to be sending three. So with those three, I'm able to special summon a level three warrior type monster. So I'm going to go for blue, which is a Shinai. I'm going to special summon Shinai in the fence mode. So when Shinai comes on the field, I'm going to get my first counter, which is going to be on Dojo. And because I have Shinai on the field, I can special summon my Mizuho. So I'm going to special summon the Mizuho and I'm going to get two corners. Then I'm going to link off my Shinai and the Noble Knight into my Battle Shogun. I'm going to then go ahead, activate Battle Shogun's effect to send the connector to Grave to go for Gateway. I'm also going to add another counter because of Battle Shogun coming on the field. So now that I have Gateway, I'm going to activate my Gateway. So I have three counters and two six samurai monsters. Luckily, I have Monster Reborn, so I can go ahead and Monster Reborn one monster from my graveyard, which is going to be my Shinai. And once Shinai comes on the field, I'm going to get two counters on Gateway. One counters on Shogun and another counter on my dojo. So with that I have enough counters to search my deck. So I'm gonna take four from my dojo. I'm going to go into my deck for a Shinai. Or should I say a Mizuho? I'm gonna go for a Mizuho. And I'm gonna special summon that Mizuho. So I'm gonna get two counters here. 
and I'm going to get two more here. I'm going to get one here. I'm going to remove four from the field. So four here. So search for a Shinine. Summon a special summon my Shinai. So I'm going to get two counters on Gateway. One here. And no counters there. So what I'm going to do is, since I have two Shinais and one Mizuho on the field, I can go into my unlimited counters. So how it works, it's pretty simple. I'm going to activate my Mizuho to tribute my Shinai to destroy itself. Then I'm going to trigger Shinai's effect when it's tributed to add one six samurai monster to my hand. And then I'm going to special summon back my Mizuho. I'm going to get one counter here. I'm going to get two on my gateway. So that's going to be four and one here. So I'm just going to do it again. Take four from the field. Take three from this and two, one from this to leave two. Then go back for my Shinai special summon. And it's just going to keep on going. So I'm going to get one here six on this one and three here i'm going to use this attribute pop itself shina is going to add back mizuho and then i'm going to special summon so this is going to go to two this is going to go to four and as you can see my counters are keep on my counters are keep on going up so i'm going to take four from the field again do the same thing special i'm going to get one here three here and two more on this which is going to be ten take four from the field use this one to tribute pop itself add to hand the four that i took i'm going to add this to my hand so again you can see that the gateway is keep on getting counters it's, it's keep going up and it's not going to stop as long as i have cards to get counters it's just going to keep on going up so we're just going to assume that i did it a good amount of times this is in the ruling you can literally say hey i have unlimited counters on my gateway so I know I have unlimited counters on my gateway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off 12 counters. And I'm going to go for three of my Kizans. I'm going to special summon all three of them. Then I'm going to overlay all three to go for my Primatech. Primatech is effect is going to activate all you need to search out a level 4 monster i'm going to search out my i'm an archer i'm then going to search out actually i'm going to just special summon this guy and this guy so i'm going to link off one two three four four different monsters and let me shuffle my deck just for the sake of the video, shuffle. And I'm going to link some in my Saruja. Now Saruja is gonna allow me to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. And then its second effect is gonna allow me to special summon a monster from my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon the Amazonist Archer. And then I'm just going to start tributing. So I'm going to take four counters from Gateway to add this to hand. Special summon it. Using my Amazonas Archer, I'm going to tribute these two. Remember when Sheena is tributed, I can add the six Samurai Monsters from my gear to my hand. So I'm going to tribute these two. And I'm going to add two of my Kizans to my hand. Special summon the two Kizans. Tribute them. So that's 2400 use gateway to add these special summon tribute their effect is going to add these special summon tribute and that's pretty much game so because of the new monster which is primatech it allows me to go into my amazonist archer really really easy and thus allowing me to do my ftk super easy so we're going to go ahead and shuffle up and we're going to do a second test. All right. So let's draw our five cards. So again, we need one counter holding card and a way to special summon monsters. 
All right, so this is pretty solid. We pretty much have what we need. We actually have two counter holding cards and we have a way to special summon monsters, which is my Kigeki and the smoke signal to search out the monster. So first I'm gonna activate my smoke signal. I'm gonna search out Mizuho. Then I'm going to activate my United and my Dojo. I'm going to normal summon my Kigeki, which is going to special summon my Mizuho. And I'm going to get two counters on here and two here. I'm going to link off into Noble Knight. First effect is going to activate to add a warrior monster that we're not going to be using for the rest of the turn, which is going to be Connector. Then we're going to send to Graveyard cards that we equip spell cards up to the amount of up to the amount that we want to special summon i'm going to send one for this one and i'm going to special summon to my side of the field my fuma because of fuma coming onto the field i get another counter on my dojo then we're going to link off into battle shogun Battle Shogun's effect is going to activate. I'm going to pitch the connector and I'm going to search out my gateway. When Battle Shogun comes on the field, I'm going to get another counter on my dojo, which is going to give me four counters. I'm going to add the gateway to hand. So I'm going to activate the gateway. Then I'm going to activate my fossil dig my living fossil the special summon one monster which is going to be my mizuho that's going to give me another counter here it's going to be five i'm going to get two on my gateway so i'm going to take four from the field which is four from two from this two from this I'm going to search out my Shinai. I'm going to then special summon Shinai to the zone, the zone that Battle Shogun points to. So I'm going to get one here. I'm going to get two on gate and one on my Battle Shogun. Then I'm going to take four. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go for a Mizuho. I'm going to special summon the Mizuho. I'm going to get four counters on the field again. I'm going to take off those four counters to go for my Shinai. I'm going to special summon the Shinai. And I'm going to get three counters and two there. I mean, I was getting counters for this, but I, I forgot. So that's seven counters. Then this is going to make eight. And then I'm going to get one here. So I'm going to use this one to tribute this to pop itself. If I add back to hand and then I can special summon. And then I'm just going to do the endless counters until I have endless counters on my gateway. I send this card to the graveyard. Draw two cards. And then take four to go for this card. And then I'm going to take 12 to go for the three uh, Kizans again. One, two, three. I'm going to special summon one Kizan and I'm going to link four monsters off, four different monsters to go for my Saruja. I'm going to draw four cards. I'm going to keep one and return the other three. I'm then going to take back a Kizan with Gateway. I'm going to special summon all three Kizans, then overlay to go for my Primatech. Primatech effect is going to activate. I'm going to add Archer. I'm going to activate Saruja to summon Archer. Then I'm going to tribute these two monsters with Archer and then Gateway to add to hand and then special summon my Shinai's 
and then continue to burn for a game so that's the second one okay guys so this is the third and final attempt let's see what kind of cards we draw and see if we can go into our FTK so we have one two three four five all right so this is a pretty solid hand <clears throat> so this is a pretty solid hand we have temple to keep counters we have two monsters to special summon we also have instant fusion to allow us to um, special summon a monster from our extra deck and we have a smoke signal so the first thing that i'm going to activate is smoke signal i'm going to search out my shinai then i'm going to activate my tempo to keep the counters then i'm going to activate instant fusion to special summon to my side of the field my millennium i restrict restrict is here to prevent cards like droll or ash so at the beginning of the duel or my turn i could just activate instant fusion paying a thousand life points special summon this guy to my side of the field so if my opponent activate ash droll or effect veiler you can use this guy's effect to equip it to it and negate its effect so that's a way to go around the um hand traps if you're using the six samurais so with that i'm then going to normal summon my shinai and special summon my mizuho that's going to give me two counters here i'm going to link off into noble knight the effect is going to activate i'm going to add to hand new space and connector i'm then going to ditch one of my equip spell cards And I'm going to special summon Fuma. That's going to give me another counter here. I'm going to link off into Battle Shogun. Battle Shogun's effect is going to activate. I'm going to pitch the Neo Spacian to special summon to, I mean, had to un my gateway. I'm going to get another counter on the temple. I'm going to activate. So I have four counters. I'm gonna remove four to search for my Kizan. I'm then going to special summon Kizan, and then I'm gonna special summon another Kizan. So I'm gonna get two counters on this card for two Kizans, and I'm gonna get four here for the two monsters. I'm gonna get another two here, so, so that's six. Then I'm going to overlay these two right under this one, and I'm going to go for number 60. Number 60, then detach two to special summon my Shinai from Grave to a zone that Battle Shogun points to. So I'm going to add one counter here, two here, and another one there. So now that I have, now that I have my Mizuho, I can take counters from the field. So I'm going to take four from the field to go for another monster which is going to be shinai special summon shinai i get eight counters on gateway i have eight counters now i have seven here and i have one on this i'm going to take four from the field one two and one four to go for my final shinai which is going to be special summon and so i have my three monsters for my endless counter so i'm going to go ahead and tribute pop itself add back to hand special then gateway add and i keep adding counters on three cards so when i get my you know four my unlimited counters after a few attempts i can simply link off these four different monsters to go into my saruja clear up the field saruja is going to allow me to draw four cards and keep one card doesn't really matter which one you keep at this point then i'm going to activate gateway to take all three of my six samurais my kizans special summon them then overlay 
effect effect of Seruja special summon and then I start to tribute the monsters and gateway to bring them back and that's game